The island of Cheju off the coast of South Korea is famous for its natural beauty. It's also known for a group of women divers called Heños. These women dive into the sea every day to look for seafood. It's their job and it's difficult and very dangerous work. They do not use oxygen tanks. They can hold their breath and stay underwater for up to five minutes. For hundreds of years, the women of Cheju have made their living from the sea. They dive into the cold waters and catch octopus, abalone, and sea urchins. However, these women divers on Cheju may be the last. Things on this small island are changing. Sunny Hong is different. She isn't a diver. She is a tour guide. She doesn't catch fish. She helps tourists that come to the island. I wanted to find some kind of job which I can, I can use my English. And uh, so this, this kind of job is, uh, can I say, fit to my aptitude. Sunny speaks English. She doesn't have to dive. However, all the other women in her family are divers. This is my aunt, Ms. Hong. <laughs> She's 63 years old. And how old is she? Start diving when she was 13, so almost 50 years now. Sunny's aunt and her friends have been diving nearly all of their lives. They didn't have a choice, and also they, they were born in sea village. So they had to be a woman diver, and there's nothing they can do except woman diver. The job is very dangerous. In Cheju, all the divers are women. Men are not divers. The youngest diver on the island is 45 years old. The oldest is 75. These women dive for five to six hours every day. But why do they keep diving? The answer is easy. 60-year-old Song Ho has had a good day. She can make up to 300 U.S. dollars in a day. Diving is still a big business in Cheju. The women can use the money to educate their children. I don't want to be a woman diver. I think I'm lucky. The young people of Cheju have more opportunities. Sunny's aunt and her friends may just be the last of the Cheju women divers. <laughs>